Okay, coming to the end of the path here. Now, you see the train tracks. This is about where Catra would have climbed to get the berries on the walk. <laughs> the berry bushes are gone. They overgrew the area, so they pulled them out. Um, I was all ready to walk down here and eat raspberries and blackberries, and there aren't any. I'd have to walk further down the road, because they're still on the main, and I say main road, it's still gravel, but it's out of the holler. This is another path that would have led up to the graveyard here. This is the actual path that uh, they would have taken up in the story. Um, this is still real overgrown, and it's hard to get up, so they built that other path to get to the graveyard. But it's up there. I mean, just look at this beautiful, beautiful area, and I'm getting attacked by gnats and mosquitoes and all sorts of wonderful stuff. But that's the road leading up into the holler. Now, this, we're coming over to Catcher's Place at the bottom where it used to be a store. Now, these street signs didn't used to be here. They didn't used to be here six months ago. But they just got 911 in the area, so every road had to have a street name. So they started naming things strange. People, family on the road. So we got Skaggs down here, so we have now Skaggs Hole. Okay, this is the store. You can see, it's now a house. I'm going to run out of battery here. So, uh... Look, we have paved. This got paved a couple years ago. This used to be gravel. But remember when I said the girls would come down to catch her? This was the store. This was the coal mine store. And, uh... You see... I don't know if you can see the river down there. You can probably hear it in the background. Coming over the rocks. But this mound that is built on the cold house is underneath there. That's where they kept the frozen stuff. Uh, it's dug into the mountain to keep it cold. But like I said, this long porch, see where it connects those two doors? Now, Catra would have lived in this first door. This would have been his house. There's actually three doors here now. It didn't used to. It used to be only two. That's the house part where Catra and Troa would have lived. And this was the store. This was still a store when I was a kid. It's now a house. But that would have taken you into the store. And that's the schoolhouse. The shed that they would have turned into the schoolhouse had I gotten that far in the story. Oh, but, yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm going to pause here.